Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, floating platforms that go horizontally and vertically that your sprite can stand on and jump off of to get to different places. So here's an example of what our sort of final game will look like. So I think this will be quite good in your uh, platformer games. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So at the moment, I've just got the basic platformer set up. I've got jumping and uh, jumping here. And I've got gravity and just placed my sprite and made a tile map. And I've added in a little brown tile here, which is going to represent the platform that goes side to side, and a purple one that represents what the, the platform going up and down. So the first step is to make ourselves a function. And in this function, oh, this is going to be the function that places our first platform. So I'm going to call it platform horizontal, because it's going to be traveling side to side or horizontally. So this will work the same way as placing an enemy. I would recommend watching our um, sprite pathing video. It will be called uh, Patrolling Enemies in Sprite Pathing. and Because that will explain how to do the uh, path for the sprite to follow. And because I'll, I'll go through it quite quickly here, but I'll still explain it here. But I'll go through it quite quickly, so if you want a more in-depth explanation, I'd watch that video. But first I'm going to place in the sprite, which is just the same as what we normally do. I'll show you all the code afterwards, but it's, um, you would have done this a lot of times before. So it's just the array of all the locations. This is the brown location because that's the side-to-side -side platform we've got. I'm going to oh, well, add a new platform kind, and I'll call it platform H, H for horizontal. And I'll give it a name. And I'm going to just have a little sprite here. Um, just make one up quickly. Just a little rectangle, and I'll fill it in. There we are, there's our little platform. Then I'm going to go into scene, just gonna quickly make this up. So this is just our normal like sprite placement code. You will have done this with your enemies and with your coins. Oh, most important step, <laughs> go into functions and call the function. There we are. So now a uh, little oh, and change my sprite to platform. There we are. So you would have done this with your coins and with your enemies, so now there should be a little platform here. But you may notice that we cannot stand on it. We'll go over that soon. But the first step is to get our platform moving from side to side. So to do that, we're going to extensions, and we're going to get the J Wonder L extension that we had last time. But it will also be in the description, like it was last time as well. Arcade tile map. Dash a, oops, dash a dash star. Um, so this is the one that comes with the sprite pathing uh, in the scene section down here. So this is how we're going to move our platform. So if we drag in these first two blocks, again this was in the <clears throat> again this was in the uh, sprite pathing tutorial, so I'll just go through it quickly. Um, oh, there it's flying off. So the same as before into our tile map, and we're just going to find the location. So I've got 9.13 and 14.13. 9.13 to 14.13. 
And I'm going to press the little plus here at the end to change the speed, because I think 50 is a bit fast for a platform. So I put it to 40. And we're going to go into variables and make our uh, waypoint variable that we had before. And I put an H on the end to show that it's the horizontal platform. And same as the uh, sprite pathing tutorial, we'll go into here, change it to platform H, grab in the if else block. To logic I'm just going to have one and two copy these in So this is what's going to bounce our platform back and forward along our little track that we've got built up. So if we look in our tile map again, just from here to here is where our platform is going to travel. So if we have a look up in here, you'll see that it moves backwards and forwards along here. So here's where the new stuff comes in. We're going to make a way for us to stand on top of the sprite. So if we go into sprites and down a bit until we find this on sprite overlaps. So what we want to say is when our character overlaps a platform, so change the second kind here to platform H, we want to Three of these out. One, two, three. And then go into sprites and scroll down to go about this my sprite X. We also need three of those. So we want to set my sprite velocity X to other sprite velocity X. We have to set my sprite velocity y to other sprite velocity y. So what it's saying is when my sprite touches the platform, it wants to move at the exact same speed as the platform is moving. Next, if we go into math and pull out this minus symbol here, drag in my sprite x into the first part and we'll change x to y in both of these and change the 0 to 16 and now it's saying if we take this out actually I'll show you what it does otherwise so if we don't have this in if I, I'll get stuck inside the platform like this and that's not quite what we want so if I drag this in here it will tell us to stand on top of the platform instead of inside the platform. Here we are. Oh. Sorry, forgot to put other sprite in here. Here we are. Here we are. So now we can stand on top of the platform and we'll move with it instead of you know, floating through the bottom of it. So this is how we get our horizontal platform, um, which is a lot simpler than it looks, but the issue comes with the vertical platform because we have issues jumping off it. So we need a few extra blocks of code for that one. So I'll run you through the code for the horizontal platform again. So it places in our platform sprite this one here. 
and then it sets it off on a path from 9.13 to 14.13 at speed 40. And it sets waypoint to 1. Then when it completes its path, if it's at the first waypoint, it will send it to the second. And if it's at the second waypoint, it will send it to the first. And then when our, when our player overlaps the platform, it will move with the platform and put our sprite on top of the platform. So that's all we need for the horizontal platform. So now that we have our horizontal platform working, we're going to get started on the vertical platform. So for the vertical platform, it's pretty much just the same thing. So we'll make a new function. Platform vertical. Put it beside, we can just match this up here. We'll grab out some of these. So once again, it's just the same as placing in your coins or your enemies, except we're just doing it with a platform instead. And I had purple for the vertical platform. And now we'll set uh, V platform for V for the vertical. To sprite of kind platform V. Then we'll copy these over too, because these can be the same. There we are. So it's just the same for the first block. Just make sure where it says wherever it says H platform or platform H, we change it to V platform or platform V or waypoint V here. Just because they have to be separate, otherwise the code will get confused and it will try to mix up their paths, and that's not what we want. And we just need to find out the coordinates for our path here. Oh, wrong one. Here we are. So if we hover over, remember it's down in this bottom corner here. Hover over 2313 and 23.6 is where I want it to go between. So I put that in, 2313, 236, there. Next, we also need the same bit of code here. So we'll bounce it between the two paths of kind platform V. So you can copy paste most of this code over. The uh, only thing we need to worry about is jumping off the vertical platforms. So, I make this all the same. And then 23, 6. Actually, let's put location in. There we are. So there's our paths and our sprite done. So if we go have a look, our vertical platform should be going, oh, if I called it. There we are. So now our vertical platform should be going up and down, same way as our horizontal platform goes side to side. There we are, coming down. But we can't stand on it at the moment, which is why we need to copy over this code here. So it's all the same code for the vertical platform. Just make sure you change around your paths and coordinates. And it will change this to platform V. There we are. So now we can stand on the platform. But once we go over there, you will notice that we can't jump off the platform, which is an issue. It comes down. So you can stand on it, but as you can see I'm pressing A here and I can't get off the platform. And that's not good. 
So to fix this, we just have to adjust our jumping code, which you should have like this under an on A button pressed. So to fix that, we are going to need to add another way to jump or an override to the jump. So if we add another else if block here, like this, we're going to need to make a new variable called jump. Go into logic, pull out this equals sign here, and put jump in here. So if jump is one, we want to tell our sprite jump again. So it's just the same as it is here. And then we need to go into variables and set jump to zero. So now it's saying, same as before, if you're not moving up or down, you can jump. But now it's also, if your jump is set to one, so if you have an override, yes, then you can jump as well and it will get rid of it. So now all we need to do is tell, give it a way to know when to give, let us have this override jump. So if we go into game and drag our on game update, then we'll need two of these if blocks. One, two. And the first reason, oh, the first way, the only way that we can get this override jump is if we are on the vertical platform. Because the vertical platform is the issue we have for jumping on and off. So if we drag out the my sprite overlaps with other sprite and get vertical platform here. So if my sprite overlaps with the vertical platform, then set jump to one. And if we go in here, so this is to tell it, so I'll show you here first. So the issue we have now is that where is it? if we are on the platform and we hop off, we now have a double jump and that's not what you want in every game. So if we drag out this my sprite hitting wall left and drop it in here, and change left to bottom, then go into variables and we'll set jump to zero. So now it says if my sprite touches the platform, the vertical platform, give us an extra jump. But if my sprite touches the ground, get rid of the jump. And the extra jump just tells us um, if our velocity isn't zero, if our vertical velocity isn't zero, which it isn't on the platform because the platform is moving up and down, then it will check if we have this extra jump. And if we have this extra jump, then it will let us jump as well and get rid of it. So this is the bit of code here that we have to add in to let us get off the vertical platform. I'll show you the code again. Vertical platform, same as creating an enemy or a coin following a path, which is in our uh, sprite pathing tutorial. And also switching directions for the, the sprite on the path. And this is the code to stand on a platform here. And it's the exact same for the horizontal platforms. So now we go into our game last test of it. We should be able to stand on the platforms and we should be able to get on the vertical platform and safely jump off. So hopefully you guys find that useful and we'll see you next time. Bye.